What's up, everyone? It's a fantastic day to go and lift. Like any other day. Today is arms day. And eating breakfast. Um, 7.30 right now. I have to go to a needles appointment. Let's see just got done with the needles on my quad feel good feel great you know I started sprinting yesterday feel really sore but honestly better and uh in a better place now which is nice been waiting for this dude for a fucking hour look at this dude look at this dude jerry what are we uh doing today eh um uh, back and buys Back and buys, baby. Back and Back buys. And buys. It's gonna be a good day today. I know last time we were here and leg day, it was it was pretty. To be fair, it was it was it was a great workout, but it was just really exhausting. Very demotivating. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I think it was because I was about to pass out in the beginning, and then he was about to pass out during. So it was just like not a great combo, you know. <laughs> I think you should show the people your earring. It's blinging off your ear. Dude, <laughs> I like, pull up, I pull up to Luch, and he like gets out the car, and he's just like standing there. I see the ear, I'm like, oh my god, you look so much more Latino. <laughs> <laughs> like I can see it in you now. But right, let's get to the workout. There's hanging for 40 seconds. Well, do a single arm TRX. Okay, so super setting uh, pull ups with creature curls. I don't usually super set my pull ups because I like to be as strong as possible for my pull ups, but it is what it is. Oh, you can come in, sir. You're good. Hey, <laughs> don't. Where the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> He's talking to the camera. I was like, what the fuck are you talking to? You thought I was keep talking to no one? I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Did something just click in his brain? No, I'm not fucked up. Alright, I gotta do my Dude, I thought you were talking to no one. I was like, uh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, damn. You started at 95. Let's try it. Oh, these don't feel that heavy. Well, to be fair, I did do preachers at the end of the arms workout. So makes sense why I can lift 95 now. All right, two more sets of these, and then we move on to the next. He's just staring at me. Are you talking to yourself again? It's funny because they can hear you too. I was asking, uh, are you talking to yourself again? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I am. <sighs> well, I think I'm going to stick with 95. Let's do this. <laughs> Drop set to this. Oh my god. Alright. Great start. So back and buys. 
already feeling the muscle fibers rip. Let's get to the next one. Really squeeze that back and point that butt out. Yeah. Arch that back for me. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, what do we got here, Jared? Back hold on. Be alert. Pull down and pull back. And try to really, really contract the tree line. I see that you got Matt on your knees. Yeah. So you've been on your knees lately, or, or is there a reason? No, it's just you gotta keep the rest of your body comfortable when you're making one part uncomfortable. True. Some side crunches. What's this one, Jared? The, the, the you gotta put the ball up like this, Jared. <laughs> oh, what's this one? Yeah, just, yeah. Try to hold it as far as you can, further, uh, like as high as you can in your feet. I like, just reach. Oh, and then just reach up? Yeah. I don't know. Seems kind of suspect. <laughs> All right. Well, see you in the workout. Finish off with the abs, and uh, now we'll head to the car. Okay, we have made it into the car. Let's test out this new contraption I got on the, uh, the window now. Um, it was a great, great back and buys. Great back and buys for real. Um, whoa, it's shaking. I don't like that. Really, really like this workout with Jared this time around. All the workouts are pretty you know, efficient. I felt a good pump. Um, there's different ones that, you know, were new to me for sure. Um, and I like that, you know, I like to kind of just like do something different. Like I've been saying all this time. 
Mm -hmm. But um, I definitely forgot to go on the bike. I know that. And I think all in all, great lift. And we'll see what's uh, waiting for food to eat. I'm going to figure it out during the ride there. Yeah. All right. So you guys can see there's a lot going on here. So what I got going on for today's meal um, is salmon, nice little salmon. And then for my meal tomorrow, I'm going to make now a um, nice uh, slather of steak. And those will be seasoned soon. You guys can season it whatever you want to. And then this is called pico de gallo. It's like a salsa that my mom, you know, learned to make. And it's good to put on like anything, you know, zero calories. Not that bad for you. All this good stuff. And yeah, all right, let's just get into cooking. Save this for the steak. Also, one thing, uh, one thing I have to mention is that a good trick that my mom taught me is to not cry when, while cutting onions is to rub lemon or lime on the cutting board before cutting and it's like a little trick to help not cry which is kind of cool so now what we're going to do is cut the lemons cut the tomato cut this squeeze the lemons in here so it takes that bittery taste away from the onion and yeah all right let's get to it All right, so now we're going to season this and get to cooking the stuff. That's add, add some more water to this, make this for tomorrow. And yeah, let's uh, let's finish this out finally. Oh. Oh. All right. So while I'm going to be cooking the meat, I'm going to cook this first and stuff. Add some more water to it. Oh, it's kind of added like above the potato. You know, what you really want to just do with potatoes and stuff is just kind of like boil it until it's soft. You poke through it, and then if you poke through it, that's when you know you're good to go. So I don't usually cook salmon that well. Well, I cook it, but I just, you know, all right, put it to medium, and I put the where the fat is, you know, the skin, down. Just kind of put it down. Bam. And a uh, nice little thing, might be a lot of sodium for you guys, but uh, what my mom kind of got me into was like, Putting soy sauce and a little bit of maple on it to make it like really tasty. You guys can try it, you know, do what you want to do with the seasoning and how you want to prepare it, but this is what I really like. So we're going to do that. But we're on no chef, so. All right. So now we're going to add the soy sauce. Do -do -do. And some syrup. Not too much syrup, of course. Because we're still cutting. Just enough. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that baby cook. Now we flip. Whoa. Got one hand, so it's a little hard. 
Let that baby cook. Probably could have been a little bit lower than more. So you guys cook how you want to cook. So with this, you just kind of wait till it's like brownish, you know, sauteed. And then after that, put these bad boys in and I cook them up. Okay, this rice should be done. So you can kind of cook your steak however you want it, medium, medium rare, rare, <laughs> you know, whatever you like. I like it where it's got some juice, you know, finish out, um, pack those away after and eat rice with salmon for our, our post-workout meal and yeah, get to it. All right, we are here uh, with the post-workout meal finally. I hope you guys enjoyed that little thing, you know, something new. Um, let's try it. So with the, the rice, I used the rest of the soy sauce from the salmon to just kind of like give it some flavor. As you can tell, it's gone. <laughs> but um, no, this was really good. The way that the salmon and the soy sauce and the maple all goes together. You know, not the most like beneficial thing I was saying, but um, it's definitely great for the soul. I think the only problem out of this dish is just how much sodium there is and then how much fat there is in um, the salmon it's all good you know got omega-3s some vitamins and also some great tasting food you know and that's all that matters really great tasting food and it's not too too bad where it's like greasy food very fatty not a lot of calories you know and I think this was like the perfect little like type of meal for you know good for the soul but you know don't take my word for it. I love it. So I don't know. It might not be the best for you. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it for the whole video. I appreciate you guys uh, you know, supporting me and all this stuff. And also, uh, thanks for the love. Uh, hey, man, I appreciate it. Um, and I'll try to keep my eyes on the road <laughs> for sure. Um, you know. I, I do that that comment did make my day you know um and i hope you guys you know are a little bit more inspired in some sense of trying to push yourself every day you know that's what i'm trying to do you know i'm trying to be better every day be a better version of myself every single day and learn from my mistakes and just keep it pushing you know because those days that that you're down those days that you don't want to do anything and don't want to improve it's like that's where you got to push the most. That's where you got to find that inner strength in you and just go for it, you know? So I appreciate you guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for those new people. Um, and yeah, let's keep this going. All right. Have a good one. See you guys.